What's going on guys? Nick here at Carter Chevrolet in Okarchi, Oklahoma, and I am going to go over Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But if you are an iPhone user, the process is a little bit different, so I have created a second video for that. And to find it, click at the top right of this video where it says Apple CarPlay users or down in the description. If you have an Android, this is what we need to get started. You need a vehicle that is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you have a projection icon like this, then you're good to go. Second, we need a compatible Android phone and it has to be running the operating system Lollipop 5.0 or higher. If you bought your phone after late 2014, then you should be good to go. Last but not least, you're gonna need a USB charging cable. All right, so I'm going to jump in this 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500, and I'm going to be using my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge as well as these compatible USB charging cables. So let's hop in the truck, let's start it, and let's get ready to download the app. So I have my phone here, as well as the USB charging cable I mentioned. I don't need the cable just yet, so I'm going to put that to the side and get out my phone. Here we are on my phone, but before we get started, just to make things a little easier, swipe down and make sure your location services is activated as well as the Bluetooth and that you are properly connected to your car. If you look here on the center of the screen, I have a white dot moving around. That's gonna be my pointer. So wherever that goes, that's where I'm selecting. So I'm gonna come down here into apps, click that. I'm gonna swipe to the left and look for the Play Store. Here it is, I'm gonna click on the Play Store, and you're gonna get a screen that looks like this. Up on the top search bar where it says Google Play, I'm gonna type in Android Auto. There it is with the blue A, I'm gonna click that, and it should open up the install page. Click on the green install box, and give it just a little bit. I'm gonna speed this process up so we don't have to wait too long. I'm going to click open and it has already added a shortcut. And here we go. Welcome to Android Auto. Click on the bottom right, get started, hit continue. And we're going to allow Android Auto to make and manage our phone calls, access our contacts, access our location, view and receive messages, as well as record audio. And last but not least, access your calendar. Once I've allowed all those, we're going to click continue. And we're going to get this page. On the very top, it says Android Auto. Where that white circle is, click and drag it to the right to highlight it blue. And you're going to get a notification box that says this. Android Auto will be able to read all the notifications you receive. Okay, next is location services. If you haven't already activated it like we did in the beginning of the video, this is how you do it. We're gonna just swipe it on. I'm gonna swipe down the screen just to see if it turned on and yep, it highlighted blue, so we're good to go. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get this dialog box. Just hit okay. Here we want to auto launch Android Auto when we plug in our USB port. So I'm gonna click Chevy MyLink. That's the silver auto that I have currently Bluetooth paired to. Okay, and then next we are going to get a Google prompt. I'm just gonna click got it for now. And I'm gonna get these two little dialog boxes. You may have more, just swipe those to the left for now. And on the top left of the video, click those three lines. We're gonna go down into settings just to make sure everything is up to par. Three boxes down, it says, okay, Google detection. We wanna click in that. I have already activated this, so I don't need to do it again, but I'm gonna show you how it works. But basically, every time you say, okay, Google, while you're driving, your Google system will turn on while in Android Auto. And this is great to be hands-free. This is what it would look like if you don't have it already activated. I'm gonna swipe the white circle to the right. I'm gonna get this page, and this is where we're gonna teach the assistant how to recognize our voice. So let's hit get started. Here we go. So this is where you say, okay, Google, three different times. And it's gonna recognize your voice, and you're gonna save it. Like I said, I've already done that, so I'm gonna skip that step, and I'm just gonna go back. Here we are, when the settings again, you can go to auto reply, you can change that message if you want. I'm just gonna leave it, I'm driving right now, I think that's fine. 
and here you want to make sure it says show message notifications is highlighted blue and then I'm going to go down to auto launch here we want to make sure all three of these are highlighted auto launch pocket detection and the Chevy MyLink system if those three are good let's go back and you can scroll down make sure Bluetooth when Android Auto is running is on so I'm going to highlight that and the last thing is Google Analytics. If you want to enable Google Analytics for background reporting, that's fine. I'm just going to turn it off. So that should be it. Let's go back out of these settings. And then let's go back up to the menu tray and go to Apps for Android Auto. These are all the applications that you can download that are compatible with Android Auto. And if you scroll through here, you can see everything from messenger apps, audio books, podcasts. You know, up here at the top, you can see iHeartRadio, there's Pandora, Amazon Music, Google Play, a bunch of different apps. I currently have Google Play Music and Pandora for my audio, so I'm not going to download any of these, but if you felt like you wanted to download one, just click it and hit install and go through the process. I don't need to do it though, like I said, I already have a few apps that I use, so I'm just gonna go back. And here we are, we're done. I'm just gonna get out of Android Auto completely, I'm just gonna exit out of it. We are done with our phone. Okay, so how do we use the Android Auto system now? The charging cable we had, we need to plug that in now, and we're gonna plug it into our phone, and the projection icon should turn into Android Auto's icon, and my phone will turn black and say Android Auto. That means we have successfully paired. Here is my home screen. So the last playlist I was listening to is Third Eye Blind with Pandora. I'm just gonna swipe that to the left. There's a few addresses as well as the current temperature here in Okarchi, and there was a recent phone call. But I'm just gonna swipe those to the left for now so you can see the main homepage. And on the very bottom, if you look, there's five individual tabs, as well as the top right, there's that little microphone. That's Google. You can click that. Or you can say, OK, Google, like we set up in the app before. Or you can use the steering wheel and click and hold the icon until Google prompt comes up. You can say anything like, hey, tell me a joke. OK, here you go. How did the frog burn its tongue? It tried to eat a firefly. So if we click here on the bottom left, it's going to open up Google Maps. And this works just like it does on your cell phone. You can pinch, swipe swipe left right zoom in zoom out and on the top right you have your microphone you can click that you can say okay google or click your steering wheel button i like to click the steering wheel button so i'm going to say find ishans showing results for find ishans here we go it found ishans so i'm going to click the blue android auto icon and that's going to activate my navigation to Aishans. Head east on County Line Road, West Oklahoma Avenue toward North Main Street. I'm gonna exit out of that, click the home button. Second tab is our phone. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I will show you how to send a text message. Click and hold the steering wheel icon or say, okay, Google, and or click the microphone. And I'm gonna say, text Frenchie. Text Frenchie, sure. What's the message? Carter Chevrolet rocks. Here's your text to Frenchie, Carter Chevrolet rocks. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. Pretty cool. Really, really easy. So now I'm going to make a phone call. I'm going to call Frenchie. You can use any of the three methods. I'm just going to click on my steering wheel here again, though. Click and hold until Google prompt. Call Frenchie. Calling Frenchie. There we go. It's calling Frenchie. Okay, so I'm going to hang up, go back to my home screen, and I'm going to show you what it is like to receive a text message and how to reply. There's two different ways to do this. One is just click on the steering wheel control button here on the steering wheel, and it will read it out to you. Carter Chevrolet is the best of the best. The only way to reply back is through your predetermined messages you set up in the app, like the I'm driving right now. So I'm just going to click that, and it will send her a text message. I'm driving right now. Or listen to it through Android Auto, and then reply back. Frenchie says, Carter Chevrolet is the best of the best. Do you want to reply? Pretty cool. I'm not going to reply back, but it just gives you an idea what you can do. Let's go over here to these headphones. When I click on the headphones, my Pandora app is going to open up. But if you click on the headphones again, it's going to show you all the compatible 
Android Auto apps you have on your phone. Currently, I only have Google Play Music and Pandora, but if you remember, if you go into your settings on your app, you can go into the Play Store, and here's all the compatible Android Auto apps, like iHeartRadio, Audiobook, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play Music, and so forth. But I'm going to use Pandora since I already have it downloaded. Here you can hit play, listen to your song. You can skip it. If you like this song, just like you can on your phone, you can click the thumbs up. If you go to the top left of the screen, you can hit the menu button, scroll through all your different albums. It's pretty simple. On the very far right, that's going to be our return to Chevy Myling button. If you click that, you're going to go back into the Chevy system. Or just click the Android Auto icon again, and now you can just hit the Home button. Last but not least, here's a little charging hack for you guys. If you remember when we were in our Android Auto app under the Menus tab, we went into Settings, and we scrolled down, and we turned on Auto Launch. So basically, every time we plug in our USB to our phone, it's going to auto launch Android Auto. And this can be a problem if you're just wanting to charge your phone. So I recommend buying one of these little USB to cigarette lighter converters. Super cheap on Amazon or eBay, just a few bucks, and you can plug it into your cigarette lighter here and use that as a dedicated charging port and your built-in USB drives for Android Auto. And if you don't want to do that, there's another way around it that's free, just takes a little more effort. Plug in the USB drive, swipe down, and look where it says car mode activate. If you just click that, it'll deactivate Android Auto and you have access to your main phone. So that's it. Pretty simple, guys. If you have any questions, give us a shout anytime. Check out more vehicles like this at cartochevroletok.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.